the same thing. Jesus, that name really came from the word ASU, uh, J ASU. And ASU is someone who knows about the reptiles. And Aya, okay, this is where they really despised him. From what I have learned, and this is from Robert Morningsky, who was a great Apache, is a great Apache, uh, Hopi warrior, they, um, Aya gave us the bird tribe DNA of the owl. Our eyes face forward like the owl. Therefore, um, the reptiles fear the owl in the universe. They fear humanity. Hue. In other words, when you say, uh, what does an owl say? It says, who? And that's where we got our name, human. In other words, human. Really? And uh, because our eyes, the reptilians, all their eyes face on the side. So for them to say, in other words, when you are trying to protect yourself from them, to say, it may, makes them angry. Now, they could either decide to become very angry or they could kill you. Whoa. And very often they will even kill you because it isn't just that they'll walk away if you say Jesus or ASU mm -hmm. or any of those names. Mm -hmm. um, a good example is the, I've been researching the Knoxville murders in, uh, the Christian Newsom murders in Knoxville. And they both had Christian names. And as far as I have learned, the, uh, the name Christ came from uh, the Emperor Constantine, who put the two, uh, two religions together. Um, but the ASU name, or Jesus name, would have been one of the original names to be used for someone who knew and who was a warrior against the reptiles, as Aya was. Hmm. So if you really want to make a, a reptilian mad, you would uh, either bring out your owl doll or you'd say the name JSU? Or, I mean, ASU, ASU or Jesus, yeah, the yeah. same thing. Or, okay. or in a sense, Christianity, even though they tried to, I'm going to use the word bastardize it, because many of the reptiles, like, um, okay, the last translator of the Bible was Francis Bacon, and to me he was uh, the illegitimate son of Queen Elizabeth I, who was a reptile. So every time they translate the Bible, they make changes in it. And um, or Cody, the same thing. They, mm -hmm. I think you can read Dr. Horowitz's book uh, on the coding of the Bible and the herbs that they've used to heal themselves. Oh, mm -hmm. oh I ran across one today as an example. Really? What's that? Um, they used the term 57 to kill, mm -hmm. the number 57, or for their Illuminati constructs. And I happened to find a web page today that said um, 57 ways to defungus your yard. <laughs> I yeah. thought that was interesting because from the chemtrails, do you, uh, do you know about the chemtrails, Daniel? Certainly. Yes, I do. Yeah. Well, it, often from it, um, years ago, we didn't have the black fungus, but now we do. And much of this, the fungus that is now happening to our plants, our wheat, is really coming from um, the chemtrails. And um, so to defungus your yard, uh, you guess what process you use to defungus it? Fog it? Solarization. Really? Okay. <laughs> Solarizing it, actually putting a tarp down and letting the sun come in and bring in more light and, and solarize the ground and the plants so that they defungus the yard. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, Interesting, yeah. So, so, wow. so, getting, so getting back to that then, uh, Barbara, you say that there were, you didn't say deaths or accidents or suicide. You, sa you said murders in your family. Ca yeah. Cause you to start to research as as to why that was happening. Were you able? To, were you able? Once you began to research it, do you feel like you were able to stop any additional murders? Well, I, I um, no. You can't stop it. No, because I can't be every. I mean, you can't be mm -hmm. everywhere right. and, and protect everyone. I, right. The only thing I did is try to tell my family what had happened mm -hmm. and what I thought was going on. I will say this: they rejected it. They couldn't handle it. They they couldn't handle the reptilian issues. So it was. It's still very hard for them. Mm -hmm. I think I have one brother who it begins to understand it, but it's too scary. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Well, yeah, I'm telling you. Ta- ta- the children were killed exactly the same way a few years apart. And that, and one was um, also abducted on Halloween, which is one of the high satanic holidays. Hmm. And the FBI was in um, part of the, um, you know, procedure mm-hmm. of finding her. Yeah, and, and now, then she was eventually killed. Yeah. Now I want to I want to ask you something that I that I've asked guests that have made that have come on the program that have made um, what to to say an ordinary listener who's never heard such discussions. Obviously, it's shocking to them. Um, how how is it that you try to relate? I mean, I mean, do you try to work, say, even family members, a little bit towards this truth you you feel like you found in exposing this uh, reptilian uh, conspiracy? Do you try to work them, or do you do you do you test the waters with a, a bit of knowledge? And if, if they if they pull back, you just don't. I mean, do you continue? Oh, sure, sure, you have to with anyone. But I think eventually, um, I think more and more is coming out. Shall we say the veil is being lifted, and people are beginning to wake up to what really is in the sense of, I'll tell you a good example, okay, just a simple example from third grade. What do we do with possessionship of all of our nouns? What like, we- say, for instance, if you're having a, an English sentence and you say, um, Joyce's or, 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 or Joe's pen, what okay. do you have to do? Uh, finish the sentence? <laughs> you add a what? A noun? Well, you, you add an S. In other words, that's their possession. See, the S, what we're talking about is the S literally means I possess that. Everything we possess is theirs. Mm -hmm. That's why we are taught in third grade to put an apostrophe S, you know, after anything that is possessive now. Right. And and then who owns that? And the S really coming from the snake kingdom of Orion and the Syrian um, group that came with. Wow, me. wow! I'm I'm really I'm really I'm really going to be stretching my mind on some of this, and that, that's I'm definitely willing to listen to hear what you have to say. Um, okay, uh, so Barbara, um, you you say that you you couldn't stop any additional murders, but now has anyone came to you and asked for your help? And do you feel like you were able to prevent something bad from happening to any of those people that may have come to you? Well, okay. Um, I guess the best way to answer this is to say this is a war between humanity and the reptiles and for our own freedom on the planet um, and sovereignty. And um, if I decide to do something, then I do it. Um, In other words, um, you can go to a web page I have. I've just, my biography Mm -hmm. on the... um, website and you can yeah. read about some of the things I've done okay. which are pretty far out for most people to believe in a good example was I had a group a group of dragon slayers around the planet whoa and we've had um, when the Kosovo war was going on um, some of us have abilities the human has the ability to create matter with their own mind which the reptiles cannot do they can only do it through mechanical means. They're jealous. So what I did, literally, and I, I think the government knows, I mean, I might as well say it, we put gum through the, we literally uh, visualized gum going through the um, the wires of the gasoline lines of the Apache helicopters. And we got online, we said, okay, come on, visualize the gum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I have to love gum. Okay? okay, not a problem. Go ahead. And um, it's a soft way to go, and I didn't particularly want to see the Kosovo War take place, So, but neither did the rest of us. So we put gum in the lines of the Apache helicopters by remote okay. viewing. Okay? All right. And they were never able to use the helicopters. <laughs> okay. Not most, apparently, they were mm-hmm. never, and they had a very difficult time getting them mm-hmm. uh, to Yugoslavia. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, and I think we did a good job in helping stop that war. I do think we've got more to do because it looks like that could be the start of our next world war, too. Really? The really fire engine part of it. Uh, you know, Kosovo is, is 
definitely having problems right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I know uh, another thing uh, that makes the aliens mad, I, I think I saw on a movie called Apocalypse Now, uh, the colonel once said uh, uh, aliens can't surf. So, you know, exactly. So they can't serve. They, you know, so I'm, I'm sure that would make them jealous. Hey, we have this question come in on the live chat line. Um, Bar 